Hello everybody, Joe here. Welcome to the channel. Uh, so today's video, we've got a 10 minute EMOM. So every minute on the minute, uh, we will do a different exercise. We've got two different exercises. So we're basically just going to be rotating back and forth. Uh, the first exercise is going to be groundwork. This is a fantastic full body workout and also it requires no equipment. So uh, to start the first round, I'm going to show you from this angle. However, as we go first, third, fifth, seven, nine, and, and etc., I will show you this exercise from different angles just so you can kind of see uh, exactly how I'm putting my feet and stuff like that. Uh, basically, you're in a, you know, like you're on all fours and you're just lifting your knees off the ground. So your knees are going to be at a 90 degree angle and the uh, your back is going to be parallel to the floor. So, uh, fantastic exercise. These two exercises in themselves are not, you know, spectacularly difficult or anything like that. However, when you set them on top of each other back to back to back without stopping, without taking any breaks, uh, as the sets go on, you'll find that your chest, your shoulders, and really your quads as well will um, really start to burn. So, uh, there we go. The first round uh, for the groundwork is done. On to the one pump burpee. So I put the one pump burpee in this. Uh, I wanted to do, uh, you know, get the heart rate up, get a little bit of a cardio going on. I incorporate one pumps. One pumps or bodybuilders are like the two main exercises, the two main burpee uh, fundamental exercises that I do in pretty much every day's workout. Uh, so whether I'm doing, you know, 500 burpees or 400, uh, you know, one pumps or 500 uh, bodybuilders or whatnot, uh, sometimes I'm doing just a huge set of them. Sometimes I'm incorporating them in and I'm only doing five or 10 at once. So again, for this full second minute, we're doing the one pump burpee. Feel free to change it up if you want. You can do every other set instead of doing one pumps, you can do one pump uh, bodybuilder, Navy SEAL, two pumps, up to you. Uh, so here we go, a different angle. We're starting the third minute and we're back at the groundwork. So as you can see, the top of my body is parallel to the ground, the top of my back. Um, my knees are at, uh, they're basically at kind of a right angle to the rest of my body. So it's going to have two right angles form sort of an S uh, as you see it there. And again, hold the knees off the ground. Don't let the knees touch the ground. Um, if you if you know if you really struggle, obviously you have to allow the knees to touch the ground. But ideally, you want to be doing this without the knees on the ground at all. And again, as this workout goes on, you'll see that it becomes extremely difficult in your quads itself. Just holding yourself kind of in that position, in that bent position, uh, your quadricep is flexed the entire time. So again, third minute from this, fourth minute, right back to the one pump burpee. Uh, so again, the one pump burpee is fantastic. Uh, whether you're doing 5, 10, 50, or 500 of them, um, fantastic, full body, very cardiovascular intense exercise in itself. So uh, I will let you watch and carry on with this and I'll come back in towards the end of the video.
So we've got the last time through for the groundwork. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, however, uh, when I'm doing the one pump burpees, I'm generally trying to do at least 10 uh, per set. So do at least 10 if you can. Uh, I, ideally, I'm, I'm trying to aim for maybe 12 or 13 or so. Uh, however, maybe even 14. However, as you, as you get on with this workout, uh, you'll find that it becomes substantially harder. Uh, if you want to try this workout and do back-to-back -back 10 minutes, uh, you'll find that it becomes extremely exhausting to hold that 10 rep burpee uh, per minute. So again, uh, same angle as we started here with the groundwork. Uh, I am really starting to struggle now. Uh, this is, again, extremely hard on the core, all that stuff, the core, the quads, chest, shoulders. Uh, and again, here we go, last time through for the burpees. So this one's gonna be a bit of a struggle. You can see it on my face. Again, you know, the one pump burpee is fantastic. It's, I wouldn't say it's extremely difficult for the chest and shoulders. However, it becomes extremely taxing uh, when layered back to back and depending on the pace that you're gonna do the one pump burpee at. So if you're doing 10 burpees, 10 one pumps per minute, that is an excellent pace. Uh, I've tried sometimes to maintain that pace for 60 minutes, so 600 one pumps in 60 minutes. And although it seems to start off and you're, it's pretty easy and stuff, as soon as you get to that 30, 40 minute mark, uh, it's extremely taxing on the body. So uh, we're coming up to the end now. Don't forget, when you're finished this, always ensure you stretch. I just came back from a soccer regional competition and uh, I was one of the only ones that really do a lot of stretching. Uh, and the stretching, you know, it really helps to help you recover and that type of thing. So get the lactic, uh, the lactic acid out of your muscles, uh, recover faster, all that good stuff. So please make sure you stretch, especially the muscles that you work the most, the quads, the chest, the shoulders, and whatnot. So uh, I'm just going through a couple stretches here. Uh, and... You can do your own. Feel free to change it up. Uh, this is a great stretch for the chest and the shoulders themselves. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy this workout. Uh, please feel free to comment down below. Like the videos. Subscribe. All that good stuff. Hit the notification icon and it will alert you to when I post new content. Until the next time, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.